<laughs> I tried to make it over. <laughs> hey, today I'm going to be showing you 10 hook spots you can do with Roadhog. This is going to be a mixture of environmental spots, sneaky off angles, and great ways to cuck the enemy team. Before I show you this batch of hook spots though, I need to cover the different types of turn hooks. I have a video already covering the basics of turn hooking, so consider checking that out before to get yourself familiarized. When performing this technique, you can do what I will call an early input turn hook and a late input turn hook. An early input turn hook is when you turn your camera before they start moving towards you. A late input turn hook, however, is when you turn your camera near the end of them being pulled towards you. Both of these will result in them being moved to the same place, but the path they will take to get there will be different. An early input turn hook will move them from the original spot to the turn spot in relatively a straight line. However, a late input turn hook will start out as a normal hook, with them coming straight towards you, but then they will make a sharp turn as you turn your camera toward the end. The displacement will be in an L shape instead of the straight line. Which one of these you use is dependent on the map geometry around you, and will be different for some of these spots, but we'll talk more about that when it actually comes up, so let's just get to the first spot. The first spot is a fairly common spot on Havana. When they begin to apply pressure to the choke, you can rotate around to look for a hook on the backline straight off the map. You need to be careful not to get cheesed by a Farah or Lucio boop, or even a hog with a better reaction time than you. Spot number two is going to be on the third point of King's Row. This area is absolutely preposterous for environmental kills onto backlines of teams engaging into the choke. It provides excellent cover, an excellent peaking angle, and is overall pretty darn excellent. On top of that, it is very easy to perform. There is also another variant of this hook. If you see somebody flanking around to the left side to advance into that mega health pack building, taking a strict angle and using an early input turn hook will hook them right into the corner of that cubby. So you can change that title to 11 hook spots, really. The next spot is on Oasis Gardens. Taking control of the high ground is a decent way to start this map as hog. If someone chooses to challenge this high ground, Play around the stairs and look for an early input turn hook right off the edge of the map. This spot provides great coverage and if done correctly, means you cannot be hooked in once you hook them off. Spot number 4 is on Iconwald. On attack, flanking around the right side is a pretty cool idea. If you're able to get there quickly, you can take some enemies by surprise if they're holding close at first, by isolating them out and completely taking them from the team fight as your team engages on the rest of them. Use a late input turn hook if you want to further ruin their day by body blocking them. Mumbo number 5 is on Oasis University. After winning a fight, playing around one of the side angles as hog is usually the play. If you play around the edge side, playing around the stairs is a good position to be to secure some environmental kills. You're able to back off to the windows after securing a kill so that your team can follow up on healing. There's a sneaky angle you can take on Blizzard World defense. If they push through the right side, it's probably the best play to back off and either rotate to the high ground or to the point. However, if they push through the left side, you can land a hook on a backline target into this room to completely isolate them from their team. Use a late input turn hook to get them around this corner. You can alternatively take their front line out of the fight to allow your team to freely engage onto the rest of their team whilst you 1v1 their hopeless main tank. The seventh spot is on Lijiang Control Center. As the attacking team begins to enter the choke, you can rotate around to the outskirts and hook into the bamboo through the gap between the beam. You don't lose too much if you miss your hook, but you lose a lot if you forget to back up as you hook someone off the map. So uh, make sure you do that. Heading back to Iconworld, the Reddit spot. I mean, what more must I say? Take the high ground and jump off the map to the right side. You need to go far enough to land on the platform below. Hook someone as you begin falling and turn your hook slightly to the right to ensure they go off the edge and don't get stuck on some stupid ass map your mama tree. The penultimate spot is another common one on Rialto this time. Break the barriers at the beginning of the map and head inside the building. Get out your Corsair headsets boys and listen for sound cues. You'll be able to hear them walking near the left segment of the map and that's when you know it's time to engage. Hook someone and early input turn your hook to the left so they are forced off the map. Alternatively, if they're pushed up a little further, let's say the bridge for instance, you can perform this from just behind the building, but it's a little trickier. 
Ensure that you firstly don't back away too fast, that'll break your hook. And secondly, be sure to do an early input hook and not a late one, or they'll end up in the building and not plummeting to their demise. And finally, Volskaya Industries. On paper, this one looks pretty poor when compared to the others, but don't overlook the power this can potentially have. If both teams are running a shield, coordinate with your team around the left side of the map. This can be performed on the right side too, but I'm going to be demonstrating it on the left. Throw in your hook according to the enemy's shield timings. For example, when Ryan fire strikes or just as the shield is being broken. You'll be hooking them into your team and you can move towards the wall to body block them as to secure the kill. This is an incredible way to start a fight if you're able to land that hook, but it's very dependent on both the coordination of your team and how well you're able to time that hook around the enemy cooldowns. That'll do it for the hook spots. Let me know if you pull any of these off in game, or if I've perhaps missed a super epic hook spot. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.